What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video guys we have the brand new update for Treasure Cruise Global. I believe it's 8.1 if I'm not mistaken and in this update there are a couple new things. So in this video we are going to be going through every single little bit of detail that is going to be available to you guys through this brand new update in One Piece Treasure Cruise Global. So first thing is first we have the brand new story mode island available which is the part two of Dressrosa. Now, in this story mode, there are a couple new characters. I believe you can actually drop a brand new Doflamingo character. So, for all you people who are collectors in the game, you can go ahead and get your hands on a couple brand new characters. So, that is the main thing that I really wanted to get out the way. Uh, but now, let's move on now to the character box. So, the character box had a new update. So, this is the new update for the character box. And I know a lot of people in the Japanese version of One Piece Treasure Cruise already know about this. However, there is a way to actually change it. So, I believe when everyone logs in it will stay as the default method this new method of the character box is extremely annoying and a lot of people really just don't like it i mean if you do like it i mean more power to you but i'm just saying if you guys don't like it there is an easy way to do it and you can go ahead and switch to the new method and try it out if you like however I, when you see here uh, down at the options menu you can go ahead and see the box mode option you can select the new method or the default method the default method when you go ahead and change it will change your character box to the obviously the, the old method that we know where it's just one big page and you can scroll between these pages here however when you go ahead and change it to the new version of the box mode what will happen is is you get your character box will be segmented into different pages and each page is 500 maximum units and honestly it's not really well designed i don't really understand why they decided to make this method at all uh, but yeah i honestly would recommend staying as default it's much easier to organize your character box and to actually filter through your characters a little bit easier but as i mentioned you know if you if you are wanted to try it out th that is the way to go ahead and switch the different boxes around to your liking so that's actually quite nice that they do add that option it doesn't force you into the new option it just gives you the option to go ahead and choose the new or the default method also something to note as well is they actually did a minor tweak and i'm not really too sure at this current time how it actually works but apparently they updated the amount of points that certain characters will give when you trade them in at the Rayleigh's bazaar so right here i mean all these characters are already going to be classified as 300 points but i think what it means is is if you pull a rare recruit character that happens to be a silver or one of those really bad rare recruit characters that are usually worth like 100 points now apparently they are buffed up to 300 points per character in a rare recruit which is good uh, it means that you know you can go ahead and just get all these characters and you know you are getting more for your money's worth you know with your gems which is good so unfortunately i can't really showcase that right now i don't have any other units to really demonstrate how that actually works but they did update the amount of points you get from units when you trade them into the Rayleigh's bazaar Small thing that they've updated as well is that all players that play on the iPhone X will have an updated graphical interface, meaning that the game will actually take up the entire screen now, which is a really nice update for those iPhone X players because I do know that there was like a black bar at the top and bottom of the screen. So now they've updated that, so all iPhone X players will now have a better experience playing the game. And also something to showcase as well is the fact that you can actually go ahead and have three different options now, three more additional options to sort your characters. The first one here is the Super Evolution. So you can go ahead and sort by all characters that are super evolved or can actually attain Super Evolution state. So right here you can see down the bottom I have a Duplicate Usopp, Timeskip Luffy and a V2 Law. All these characters are super evolvable. However, I've just kept a duplicate copy of them. And you can see at the top here that those, those actual units that have Super Evolutions are here as well so that is a really nice way to sort through your super evolution characters your five pluses or your six plus characters the next one now is the limit break tab this is actually a really nice one so now you can sort through all of your characters that are able to be limit broken so if you see here these are all you know the, the items that you get like soccer books and stuff and above that these are now all characters that you can go ahead and feed potions and crystals to to limit break so that is awesome now that they've segregated uh you know characters that can be limit broken and characters that aren't able to be limit broken so you can just sort through a lot easier and select a character that you want to limit break straight away which is very very good uh and there are actually additional limit breaks in this brand new update as well so if we go to the world map and you click on the news coup 
there is a brand new banner up there that will give you information on this. So this is the notice from the admins about characters with limit break. So you can go ahead and check this list here for all characters now that are able to be limit broken. So they've added a couple of new characters here. Uh, a lot of driven characters are in this batch, which is, you know, obviously going to happen considering the next legend to appear should be version 2 Do Flamingo, And we don't really know when that's going to appear yet, but it should be here very, very soon. Uh, so there are a couple of new characters in here. You know, you, uh, I believe Blackbeard is the is one of the only legends that are able to be limit broken at this current time. Just looking at it right now, I think Blackbeard is the only legend character that can be limit broken from this actual batch, which is really interesting. I thought they would have added uh, a, a couple more legends, but either way, that's fine. You know, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, so brand new limit breaks are available. Uh, and you know, obviously you can then go ahead and sort by limit break to go ahead and choose which character you want to limit break. So uh, we might look at a uh, little guy, Blackbeard here because Blackbeard does look quite interesting uh, and obviously a lot of people are going to say oh which character should I limit break you should just always limit break characters that you use most often because typically characters that you use most often uh, in really OP teams are typically good units to limit break Blackbeard actually gets a cooldown reduction, which is very good. So if you guys use Blackbeard a lot, he might be a really good unit to limit break because he does get three really good abilities. He gets Enrage, he gets Critical Strike, and Slot Bind Reduction. So all three of those abilities are really, really good. The thing about Blackbeard's limit break is, is the fact that each of these abilities that he has are really good, but the actual statistical output that he provides with these specific abilities aren't as great as some other characters that have the same ability, which is a little bit unfortunate. Either way, He's a very good unit to limit break just due to the fact he gets extra stats cooldown reduction and three really good abilities So overall really nice character to limit break the next thing that we are moving on to you can see this banner right now and get excited We have the brand new limited rare recruit captain Kobe coming to one piece treasure cruise global from the 28th of May all the way to the 31st of May. So at the start of June, we should be getting a brand new Sugo Fest, which is likely to be version 2 Doflamingo, but there is no confirmation at this current time. Now, the reason why this unit is so goddamn good, I mean, we're going to break down what he does and it'll be on the side of the screen so you guys can read. But oh my god, this unit is amazing for driven teams. And if you guys end up pulling version 2 Doflamingo and you have his batch, you really, really want to get your hands on this unit. He is exceptional. So let's go ahead and start breaking down this character. So Captain Kirby's captain ability, I've got it written up on the side here, will go ahead and boost the attack of driven characters by 2.5 times, and he recovers two times his recovery at the end of each turn, and reduces damage by 7%. So if you don't have a very good driven captain, he's not a bad choice considering you get damage reduction, you get recovery, and a 2.5 captain is, it, it is kind of average, but still, with the added benefits of recovery and damage reduction, it is quite solid, especially if you do pair it up with uh, someone with the likes of like Treasure Mode Cavendish or like the version 2 Doe Flamingo. So there are some options there. Uh, but mainly, you want to be using him as a sub because his special ability will go ahead and reduce bind duration on one character completely. So it will completely remove any amount of turns on any character on your crew. Uh, for, for, for bind which is fantastic on top of that he locks orbs for a turn and boosts the attack of driven characters by 1.75 for three turns on a 15 turn cooldown but it gets even better than that he has a limit break sailor ability or a crewmate ability that states makes psi orbs beneficial for driven type characters so this is a great unit especially overall for version 2 doflamingo if you guys don't know he's a captain ability that relies you on getting matching orbs to give you a higher boost for your driven characters and with kobe as a sub all your Psy Orbs are counted as beneficial. On top of this, uh, Treasure Mode Cavendish, if you guys don't know, he actually has the exact same Sailor ability as this. So even if you don't end up getting Kobe, you know, you got, you know, you got Cavendish for the same thing. You know, Psy Orbs counted as beneficial. But this Kobe does provide some decent utility, giving you complete bind resistance on one character, as well as locking your orbs, which can see some use. But being a three-turn attack booster is quite key. There is a unit in Doflamingo's batch who is a three-turn orb booster. So you can partner this up really well and have three turns of a 1.75 attack and a 1.75 orb boost with just two characters. So that is fantastic. A really powerful unit overall. Does he get cooldown reduction with his limit break he does so he ends up going down to a 14 turn 
cooldown. His potential ability one is going to be pinch healing, and his pinch healing isn't that great, but he also has slot bind self reduction, reducing his uh, slot bind by seven turns. So, yeah, overall, he's, he's one of the better limited rare recruits in the entire game, considering how powerful he is for the team that he goes on. So, yeah, limited rare recruit Kirby is going to be very, very nice. This specific banner states that when you do a 10 plus one rare recruit, the 11th poster or the plus one unit of your multi pull will be guaranteed to be one of these units on the banner. So, Bellamy, the quick time skip, Chopper, you've got the 20th anniversary Nami and Sanji, you have Raju, and you also have Kobe. And when you get that plus one unit on a multi, they will come at max special level. So you could potentially get any of these characters here at max special level, including Kobe himself. So you guys already know, I'm going to be doing pulls on this banner because I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on Kobe. Even if I can't get Kirby, I'll be able to get a couple of other characters like 20th Anniversary Nami and Sanji. A lot of people don't have those units. I'd love to get my hands on those two specifically. They are very, very good units. And also Bellamy at max special is quite useful. And same as Raju as well. The Chopper is probably the weakest one to get. So anyways, we'll see how that goes. But it doesn't end there. There was yet another thing added right now into One Piece Treasure Cruise Global that a lot of people are going to be very, very excited about. And here we are, guys. A brand new Super Evolution character was added into One Piece Treasure Cruise Global, and that character is none other than Bartolomeo. So this character is a character that a lot of people have been waiting for on Global to get his Super Evolution, just because he adds a lot of utility and a lot of power, actually, to some specific teams. So let's go ahead and break down this brand new character. So we have the brand new man-eating Bartolomeo straw hat pirate fleet sons cups now Bato actually changes from a strength unit into a quick unit. He is still a striker driven type character. Now at max level at level 99, over on the side of the video you guys should see uh, all the information as well. At max level he gets 3,602 HP, 1510 attack and 380 recovery at max level. Remember he does have a limit break so his stats will go even higher than that as well. Now his captain ability does have a slight change. So it will go ahead and boost driven and striker characters attack by three times and reduce damage taken on the turn he does not attack. So I believe stating here on the database that when he does not attack, he will reduce damage taken by 30% for that turn and it does multiply with double Barto. So you can go ahead and reduce damage. I believe it's by like 50% if you don't attack with either Barto or Mayo. But the great thing about this is, is updated from his regular 6-star version, he no longer needs exactly 6 of a certain unit in order to actually give you your boost. This is just a flat, unconditional 3 times boost to 2 separate classes, which is quite nice. You can go ahead and run some really nice hybrid teams, potentially, but for the most part, you want to be using this guy with a another friend captain. Honestly, he is, a, he is a very, very usable unit as a captain, but he works a lot better when you run a friend version to Doflamingo for driven teams, or a friend Neko, or a friend Lucy for striker teams. Overall, a decent captain ability. Definitely a great buff to his previous version, but there are other better captains still out there right now. But if you are lacking some driven or striker units, this guy's going to be great as a captain. So that's awesome. Straight away, gets a brand new captain ability. However, it does not finish there. He actually gets a brand new special ability, and I'm not too sure if it is actually lowered cooldown. I'm just checking really quick. It gets one turn less cooldown when you actually super evolve him. So he maxes naturally at a 17 turn cooldown but he gets one, two, three, four turns of cooldown reduction, going down to a 13 turn cooldown at max limit break. He will go ahead and make it so you cannot be KO'd for one turn. So it's the exact same as normal with that regard, where you basically can tank any one hit when you activate the special. However, on top of this, he will go ahead and boost the attack and orb effects of Driven and Strikers by 1.5 for one turn. So if you go ahead and multiply this together, a 1.5 attack boost and a 1.5 orb boost together adds up, I believe it's a 2.25 boost. So with his special alone, you're boosting all your characters by 2.25 if they have a matching orb, of course. So, yeah, he's a really, really nice unit that you can actually pop his special on like a stage four mini boss or a stage three mini boss on a Coliseum. You can clear it, and then you've got all your other specials ready to go on the final stage of a, of a specific dungeon. So, his special ability changes from being a very defensive type special where you basically want to try and use it where you don't want to die into a more offensive style special where you can actually start dealing damage when you activate the special. And the great thing about it is, is he boosts once again 
again, driven and striker type characters. So that's awesome. The fact that he works really well, his special ability works really well with his captain ability, and that's great. So you can go ahead and, as I said, run him on a striker team or run him on a driven team. Or if you want to be that guy, you can run a hybrid type team. I don't know how that would actually work, but you know, you can go ahead and do that as well. Remember with his limit break as well, his limit break abilities he gets uh, reduces no healing, which is average, enrage, which is actually pretty good, and dex damage reduction. And as we mentioned, before he gets uh, all that cooldown reduction and he actually completely resists paralysis when you actually limit break him as well and boost attack and hp of strikers by 60 so overall he's a very good six plus a lot better than his original six star unit so this is a unit that you don't need a separate bato for you can go ahead and just evolve the one that you have you don't need to like v2 law or time skip luffy or anything like that so that's awesome and once again just look at his artwork his artwork looks amazing i really like what they did here the fact that he is on the grand fleet ready with luffy at the end of dress rosa so that is awesome i'm really excited for this guys and this is arriving this specific bato is going to be arriving on the first of june right after the limited rare recruit kobe banner will actually leave and this does hint towards the fact that we are getting a brand new batch sugo fest on the first of june once again we stated this before when the brand new sugo fest was coming out with the limited rare recruit characters do not pull on that sugo fest hold your gems because we are getting a brand new batch extremely soon so just hold those hold those jemmies guys for v2 doflamingo but that's going to conclude the video guys i really hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you guys did enjoy it make sure to smack the like button down below and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post on my channel including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video